Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and a very Merry Christmas to you all on Christmas Day. This is, um, well, it's time to have, let's build a snowman, says Nordy. And we'll have a look at that. Don't, I mean, you can check all the links under the video for Patreon and Discord and all our apps, a great Christmas present, merchandise, of course, that would do too. Sven Sudoku pad, but um, for now, we are going to be looking at the first link, which is this puzzle. Now, there are... There are plenty of rules which explain how we will build a snowman together, um, and yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna go through the rules and crack into the puzzle. I mean, as the food coma settles in on Christmas Day, I think all we really need to do is a bit of logic to keep the head clear. Um, and I'm gonna pretend this isn't white wine here, so. I mean, red wine. I mean, wow, that coma is bad. Okay, so gather snow. Winter Sudoku rules apply. Winter Sudoku rules apply. Place the digits zero to eight in every row, column, and three by three box. So in every row, it's not one to nine, it's zero to eight. Um, in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Um, now for the head and body, Digits along arrows sum to the digit in the corresponding circle. Oh, we're using zeros. I was thinking that can't work, but all of those add up to that, apparently. I mean, I'm, e I'm still a bit surprised even with zeros. And those add up to that. Okay. Um, for the eyes, digits joined by a white dot are consecutive. For the nose, digits along... It's a carrot, isn't it? Digits along the orange carrot increase from the bulb end to the other end uh, it says thermometer in the rules the buttons digits joined by a black dot are in the ratio of two to one that sequence is and it's not too long even in a regular sudoku that's weird why did i think that looks bad anyway um arms adjacent digits along green lines they were brown in the original i couldn't replicate that here uh, must have a difference of five or more. Those are German whispers. You might make your snowman's arms with evergreen branches, I suppose. And then make it unique. Digits joined by a blue snowflake form a unique domino. Those digits cannot appear to each other orthogonally anywhere else in the grid. That is a weird rule. I hope you can see these two blue dominoes. If you can't, they're there and there. And those dominoes are going to be unique. You can't have those two digits being next to each other anywhere else. That is an extraordinary rule. And until this point, I was thinking, is, is Nordy giving us a, a, a simpler Christmas treat than he normally does? And now I'm thinking, if that rule comes into play a lot, this puzzle's going to be vicious. Uh, it's Christmas, so you don't know what you're going to get. No, that's CTC. Anyway, give it a try. Um, no idea how this is going to play out now. I am going to start now. Let's get... Oh, I was told, before we start, I was told that there is a solution check. If you delete the zeros, the solution check will work. Maybe if you replace them by nines? I don't know. Anyway, let's get cracking. Right, well, the black dots must be... Zero can't come into play, so they're one, two, four, eight in some order. They've got to be. That's straightforward. This is in the center of a sequence, so it is now three, five, six, or seven. That's not as restricted as I thought it was going to be when I began that. So now let's add up this head of the snowman. Right, zero, one, two in the minimum there. That's three. Zero, one there. That's four. Zero, 01 in that row is 5 and then zero, 012 I suppose in column 7 if we take it all together and that's 8 that is minimal because 8 is the maximal digit we can put in the circle oh this is all right so far that's an 8 look at that now that zero, 01 pair says that this is an 8 not a 1 and we've got a start. That's a zero because it sees two and one. Um, I 
dare say we're not going to go in much further at the moment, but I'm not unhappy with that. Now, these differences of five are applying. Does it make a difference that it's zero to eight? OK, the rules, the German whisper rules for a zero to eight puzzle must be that four can never appear on the whisper line. That's funny. That just feels so weird. Four can never appear. The, the monogamous digits that can only have one possible partner are three and five. And we still alternate between high and low, but high is five, six, seven, eight. And low is 0, 1, 2, 3. That must be right. Now, this can't be a 3 because then 2 would be one of the outliers along the eyes. And we've got 1 and 2 done in the box. So that is 5, 6 or 7. Now, 3 must be in this row. That's not really new news. I mean, I really don't want this rule coming into play yet. I'm not, I'm not ready for it, I'll tell you that. This can't be a zero, so this is at least three. Let's put actually three, five, six, seven there. Um, right, these three have a minimum value of zero, two, three, which is five. That's got a minimum value of two, which is seven. So there's one degree of freedom. That is two or three. This is either zero, two, three or zero, two, four. Uh, yeah, that digit though can't be zero, two or four. So that is a three. And now, oops, now we know this is zero, two, three. We're not using up the degree of freedom there. The, sorry, I can get rid of the three out of there. This is seven or eight, because there's still the degree of freedom along this. Five. Yeah, I mean, these two will go hand in hand. They're either a two and a seven or a three and an eight. Now, what on earth do we do next? One low digit is in operation. We need, oh no, this is, oh, right. Yes, I can start over here. These are one color. And that's the other colour. I've been seeing this sort of arm as too high and too low. That's not going to be right. Well, it's definitely not going to be right because this one touches the other three. So this is... Okay, I'm now going to suggest... I thought I could start here. I thought I could say this must be low because that can't be eight. But I am now rethinking if this was seven... These could be 0, 1, and 2, which is a shame. Oh, that 3 is knocked out 3 from here. So this is 5, 6, or 7. This is now 6, 7, or 8. This is where 3 goes in the top box, in box 2. This, though, I don't, four, four has to go somewhere in this box and it has to go in one of those places. So this is a five in the middle of a four, six pair. And then we've got the thermo as seven, eight, the nose, the carrot nose is done. This is a six to complete the column. Oh, well, that wasn't bad. Maybe I should stop being so afraid. Now over this side, we've got I mean, let's just use different colours. I, I mean, I don't know what, what they're going to turn out to be in terms of high, low. I can't... Ah, OK, we've got 0 and 1 there. So if that was 2 and 3, this is impossible. 3 can only be next to 8. So these can't be low. There we go. These are high. Is that right? I just want to check that logic. 0 and 1 are definitely being used on this head arrow. <clears throat> So if those were low, they would have to be 2 and 3. That would have to be an 8, but it can't be. OK, so red is definitely high. The centre is definitely low. These high digits are from 5, 6 and 7. Now the centre can't be 3. It's so odd working with different numbers because one of those will be 5 or 6. So this is 0, 1, or 2. This could be an 8. So 
all I know is it's high. Now I've got two of zero, one, and two here. But that could still be the third. Okay, let's look along here. If this was high, it's a... F oh, no, it's one of five, six, or seven. That's... Uh, zero, one, eight. Okay. This can't be a two. Because of the zero, one, two triple. So two is over here somewhere. That's not that interesting. I I mean, I, I'm trying to overcome my fears of this puzzle, but I am still terrified about these dominoes. I can't help that. I mean, the idea that in this puzzle we might have to work out what those dominoes are by working out every possible pair of digits being next to each other somewhere. That is a sinking feeling. Okay, I really want to find something else to do. So, I do think these German whispers may be the only place I really have to attack the puzzle at the moment. Three is over that side. So these are from five, six, seven. But three could be here. In fact, three is in one of those two. So if that's low, it's two or three, but it can't be three because that can't be eight. So if that's low, it's a two, and that's a seven. And these would be zero and one. That is very restricted. Um, then we'd have a zero, one, two, triple here. No, I don't know. Oh, I've just noticed this is a zero, one, two. It's not quite an X-wing. What's an extended X-wing? Sort of a swordfish. But they, they are triples in each of those columns. These are from four, five, seven, and eight. I don't, I mean, it probably doesn't help to mark those in, but I've never been afraid of an excessive pencil mark. Can it really be time to have to think about the dominoes? I don't want to do it. I mean, I can see some things though. Zero is next to both one and two up there. Zero must be next to three in this group of cells and next to eight in this group. So if zero was on one of these dominoes, it would be with four, five, six or seven. I mean, that's just nothing to work with. I'm not, I'm not getting involved in that yet. These, these have got to be disambiguators at the end to make it unique. It's almost in the rules that those are to make it unique at the end. Um, okay, I need to be smarter. Sorry, I need to be smarter. Two is in one of these cells. If that was two, it doesn't work, does it? These couldn't be six, seven, well, they couldn't be six, seven, and eight even, because six isn't allowed to be next to two. So if that's one, these are six, seven, eight. Mm. And th th if this is low, it is zero or one as well. And these are also six, seven, eight. And then these would be six, seven, eight. Oh, that, that won't work. Right. This can't, that's it. This can't be low. No, hang on. 
because one of these would be zero and could be next to a five. I was looking at this triple. How could they be five, six, seven? Well, they could. The zero in one of these would be next to a five. That would probably be, well, it doesn't matter which side. And the one, zero can be next to any of five, six, or seven, and one can be next to six or seven. Hmm. I thought I was onto it, and I absolutely wasn't. It's a really interesting problem, actually, but I'm not sure I see what we are meant to do. Okay, if that is low, these are five, six, and seven, because they can't have an eight in. Then that has to be a zero. Since the zero has to touch the five, the five has to be there. And that is very prescriptive. But if that's low, it's zero. With a five there, this is one. Touching six, seven, and eight, that'll be two. And those would be six and seven, because we can't put eight there. I wonder if it breaks. It looks like it might to me now. Can't quite see how it does. But if this is high, does it have to be seven? Yes, it does, because it's not allowed to be eight. So if it's low, it's zero. And if it's high, it's seven. It's only got those two possibilities. That's weird. Then these, if that's seven, these are low and they are zero, one, two. That would have to be two. And these would be zero and one in some order. And if this is low and zero, these are five, six, seven. And since the zero has to touch the five, that would be the five, and this would be the six, seven pair. Curiouser and curiouser, as Alice said. So one of these is zero or one, and forms a virtual triple with zero, with zero, one, two. The other, though, is six or seven. Well, this has to be three, five, six, or seven, since it can't be zero, one, or two. If this, well, this is low. If this was one, these would be six, seven, eight. Yeah, that doesn't butter any parsnips. Quite a three-pipe problem. Um... So, this cell, which sees 0, 1, 2 vertically, if that's a 5, it sees 5, 6, 7 horizontally. Then it would be 3 or 4. If that's a 2, then that's a 7. Oh, and then these are zero. Oh. oh, yes, I'm so sorry. I pointed out the zero, one, two virtual triple. What I could easily have done is pointed out the zero, one virtual pair, making this a two. Oh, that, honestly, how can that take so long to get that two? Which isn't going to do anything, but at least it's a digit in the grid that I didn't have before. Now we've got zero, one, X wing pairs. So everything else in this row is two, three, seven, eight. Everything else in this row is two, four, five, six. That's a zero, one pair. Aha! That's been available forever. Oh, well, it's Christmas. Give me some license. That's I. 
Purple is high, here we go. I mean, I've done a lot of this thinking already, so um, we will at least speed on in the next bit, even though I messed up that bit. So purple is high, blue is low, that is a zero. So this can be five, and this can be six or seven. Why could I not see those looking at that? I don't know. Anyway, that is now a six, seven pair. This is a one. We need this to be eight. It can't be five anymore because of the one. Um, that is not six or seven. Right, now, let's hope this has helped. That is now three or four, and these are from two, three, and four. And now, now we get some information about this pair, which includes a one and either three or four. Well, that is interesting. I mean, I can, I can begin to dimly see that there's a way we could use that, but I can't see anywhere in the grid where obviously one, oh yes I can, one and three clearly touch there. So this is a one, four pair. And now one, four are not allowed to touch anywhere else, which is interesting. So whichever side of this is one is not touching four. These can't be four. That's now a five, seven, eight triple. So five is up there, and these can't have five in and do have four in. I mean, that's interesting. One, four, two, eight. There's a zero here. Oh, uh, I don't know after that, though. So one, four there. This has become a two, three pair. Oh, this is very clever, Naughty. I mean, I do like this. This is now a four. These are from zero, three, five. This one, well, I, okay, I was going to say I don't know much about it, but I do know now that it's not 157 or 8. Now, there are a bunch of other possibilities, but maybe we could start thinking about ruling some of them out. I don't know. Let's just see if we can do anything else first, because anything else is normally a better start than <laughs> looking at a a domino with 15 possible combinations on it and seeing if we can find them elsewhere in the grid, which we're probably going to come to in a moment. Right, one of these is six or seven and one of them is three or five. So the same is true of these, which I could have worked out from that row itself. Zero, two, three, four, eight, one. This is five, six, or seven. Oh, that eight is looking at that cell. Ah, oh, I just can't see the vertical look downs. Right, seven minus five, that's a two. That's going to fix three and two above there. I mean, I, I attack that as though it's really going to help everything else. It's absolutely not. It's going to do a little bit of work and no more. Right, that's not a seven. In this column, we have three, five, and six to place. Two, eight, five, one, seven. That can't be a two. So that's eliminated three of the possible pairs. Two of them are eliminated by being sim same digits. So that still leaves 10 possible dominoes. But let's think about one not being allowed to be next to four here. Yes, and here. They're both zeros. Lovely. So those are ones. That's now two, one, two, zero. Okay, one not being allowed to be next to four happens again. That's a six now. That's a four, right. That four looks down to the bottom of the grid. Now they can't have a seven in, and now that's eight, that's five. These can't have a five in. And can we do it again? One can't be next to four? No, not in this central box. But that was a little run of fun. Got a chocolate teapot quadruple sitting across there. Mm, I've known zero is one of those cells for a while. 
28157. So am I really going to have to think about this stuff now? I mean, it wasn't... Oh, no, I can do 0 and 1 there. 1 can't be next to 4. Okay. Hmm, that didn't do much else. 4, that is a naked single. It sees 0, 1, 2, 3, 8 in the column, 4, 6, 7 in the row. That might even be helpful. 3 takes 3 out of our suspicious cell. Um, and out of there, five, two, eight, three, one, four, six, and seven to place in column three still. It's a very, very interesting puzzle. It really is. So zero, three, four, and six to place in row seven. In row nine. Yes, you can have a nine in this puzzle, row nine and column nine. Then it's zero, one, two, eight. And that one can't be zero or two, and this one can't be one. I, it's getting a bit like pencil marking for its own sake now. Right, now I only have nine possibilities, one of which is double zero and is ruled out, so there are eight. So let's think about these. Let's, we've got a lot of zeros in the grid. So what can zero not, what can zero not be next to here? Zero, one, zero, three, zero, four, zero, five, zero, seven, and eight. So zero can only be next to two or six in a, in a lone domino can't see a zero six or a zero two. So this can't be zero because that can't be two or six. The only way this can be zero is if that's six. Right, let us think about this being a, well we've thought about this being a zero. Let's think about this being a three. Can it be next to four or six? It can't be next to six and it can't be next to four. That is not a three. What about five? Five also can't be next to four or six. That is a zero. And it is next to, we did work this out, it's next to six. There we go. And now we can use that elsewhere in the grid because we know there can't be another zero six domino turning up there. Chocolate teapot dissolves. Right, and that six has fixed seven and six on the snowman arms. This can't be six and it can't be zero because that domino is not allowed again. Lovely. I think we might get to a finish now if we keep remembering that zero can't be next to six and of course that one can't be next to four, which might still continue to matter. That's become a five, that's a six. One is never going to touch a zero, that's all good. Um, that can't be a two, so we've got a one eight pair down here, assuming my pencil marking is right, and a zero two pair on the other side. Then I can write in one and eight here. In fact, two and zero are done. Four, three, eight up here, that's a four. Don't know about three eight. These are two five seven. Let's get rid of all the pencil marking bit chocolate teapot, unless I'm missing something about the forbidden pairs. Um, we've had six in this column. In this row, we've got ah, we've got four, six, and seven. Six can't be next to the zero though, so it has to go here. That makes this a five. four, seven, or eight in the column, which is giving us one, no, it's giving us a triple in the box, is what it's giving us. Everything else is two, three, six. We get three in the corner. That's three in the corner. We get two and six there. That six is not touching any zeros. Good, good, good. What, these are resolved. That's resolved. That's a four. That's a one. That's an eight. One, four, seven. Look at this come together. Beautiful. 
four, four, now. That is now a two, eight and three, eight and seven. And we have built a snowman and made it alive. Oh, no, didn't get a tick, but then I delete the zeros. Do I get a tick then? Is that, well, I'm gonna try the tick. Ooh, it doesn't say, it, it says it. I don't know, this claim that we were gonna be right, if I put nines in there, yeah, if I put nines in there, it works. Okay, so that was how to do it. I did suggest that at the start. Anyway, that is the correct solution with the zeros in. It's just hard to make the software tell you it's right unless you put nines in, but you can check with the video because I know I got it right. That is a brilliant puzzle. That, that was a really interesting rule with those um, unique dominoes. Very strange, very difficult, but very, well, not very difficult, but very interesting. Great puzzle. Merry Christmas to you all from me and Simon. Um, we really hope you have a fantastic time and a great new year in 2024. Thanks for watching our videos. As always, love you loads. Bye for now.